Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to... My detox is over. I'm just going into the bathroom, changing. I'm going to weigh myself and then I will get back to you. I started this detoxing on the 7th of January. It's now the 14th. And let's see what the scales have got to say. Catch you in a moment. Bye-bye. Seventy-six point five. So I've just got dressed again, and I am seventy-six point five kilograms. I'm five foot nine and fifty-four years of age. Fifty-five this year. So that's where we are, and um, I'm quite happy with, yeah, with the scales. So off for breakfast, and let's see what's in the cupboard. Catch you in a moment. Bye bye. Well, <laughs> Monday morning, 14th of January, and on the 7th of January, I started my juicing detox, and I actually weighed 82.9 kilograms, which is 13 stone 5 for any British people listening in. Today, after one week, I weigh myself this morning and as you've seen on the video, I am 76.5 kilo, which is 12 stone 4. So I've actually lost 6.4 kilos, which is a stone almost. Yes, a stone, I believe. But as I mentioned, um, this is my first breakfast in seven days. It may look really small and little. Um, just two small poached eggs, a little bit of sea salt and <clears throat> some coconut to put on the toast, if you want some berry jam and an apple and raisin biscuit and the old good pot of English tea. So I'm looking forward to this. I've got to tell you, I woke up this morning. I just didn't feel hungry. And I knew this would happen. It just changes your way of thinking altogether. Um, and that's how it actually is. This coconut um, butter oil is really healthy, I must say. So let's get one of these on. Go. Well, first bit of food in one week. <laughs> what mouthful have you ever noticed when you stay in a hotel and you go for breakfast in the morning and it's a buffet breakfast why is it that so many people they have to get a breakfast like a mountain it's like because they've paid for their hotel they think they want to get their money's worth and I'm sure people do not eat a massive full Monty breakfast every morning. Because if you do, believe me, you're heading for a heart attack. You definitely are. And, um, okay, this is a very, very light breakfast. Just two very small poached eggs, two pieces of toast on organic bread. And bread is something I could really speak about if you knew what actually went into bread. So I actually eat organic bread and Jewish bread as well, which is very healthy for you, very good. Drink of lemon juice, uh, nice and fresh. Wow, it's good to eat. Well, I'm going to finish my breakfast. I wish you a great morning. 
I'm going to enjoy this and I will catch you in a few moments. <coughs> Take care, bon appétit, and bye for now. Please, sir. I want some more. More! I've just had my breakfast and I must say it was very nice. And just some points to mention about if anyone is considering doing <coughs> a juice detoxing. Ask yourself this question. When you are out in the street and you actually walk past Greg the Baker's or McDonald's or any fast food or restaurant, ask yourself the question, is your belly actually saying, feed me, I need food now? You've got to feed my stomach. Of course, there's times we get hungry and we have to eat, but is it necessary just to be binging all the time, constantly snacking? Maybe not. But <clears throat> again, it's all about focus, willpower. And I can tell you that if you do do a detox, your mentality and your way towards food definitely changes. It just something clicks inside. I can't explain what it is until you actually go through it and you experience doing a detox. But I'm happy that I've lost a little bit of weight. Well, not a little bit. I think a stone is quite a bit over seven days. And I feel quite good actually. I feel quite alert, energetic. And this is something I do twice a year, just to clean the inside of your body just to make all the toxins go away and it just <clears throat> fights illnesses and viruses. So I thoroughly recommend it. Anyone doing this, do get proper advice. Make sure you do your research. Test your drinks before you start drinking so that you can drink it and it's nice. And any questions, please feel free to leave remarks in the comment box if it's been useful, if anything's helped you in any way. And if you feel like subscribing, please hit the subscribe button in the corner. I think it's this corner, and if it's not, it's in that corner. So folks, thank you for following my journey. <clears throat> I do hope to be presenting more videos on different subjects and topics that I'm passionate about. And I'm just looking at my little chart of 6.4 kilograms that I've lost in weight. <laughs> and many people will be saying, yeah, but you're going to put this weight back on. I can tell you, it doesn't happen like that. Really, it doesn't. You do put um, a couple of kilos back on, but again, it's all about watching what you eat and how you eat and how you cook as well. So on that note, I wish you all a good day. Cup of tea is the answer to everything, so they say. And it's been a pleasure presenting my first little series of juice detoxes. Take care, good luck, and happy juicing. Bye-bye for now. No sugar. Bye-bye. <laughs>